the power of that eclipse, the blood moon total eclipse. <laughs> oh my God. Let me know if you've been feeling it <laughs> and let me know what you've been feeling about that blood moon eclipse because that was something next level, very deep, very old, very ancient, very, whew. and the sense that I got and I've been like, it's just been like, whew, like really strong today. Lots of deep, deep sacral chakra healing, lots of like generational women, which bloodline lineage like healed. There's a big connection between the 1600s, right? And now, and last year especially as well, like the same astrological lineup last year happens last year, but it hadn't happened since the 1600s, the mid 1600s, when the witch hunt burning began. Now, this really interesting and significant timing, and then this blood moon eclipse that happened last night, like the ceremony that we held, it was very different energy, also different, but last night was specifically different. And I kept getting the message that this was so deep in the ancient era of like when you first, I wanna say lost your gifts or were capped on your gifts. And I really, really wanna speak about this message that came through because I just came out of a distance healing with a client and it was very strong in this energy as well. And I really, really want to speak to this. So, oh, at 2.22 p.m. <laughs> it's like 2.22 as I talk, of course. Um, let me just share this as always. And then I will, um, oh, Salem. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> Salem. Oh, that's so cute. I love that so much. <laughs> so let me. Oh, I did it again. Seriously, this, oh my God, this camera thing. This is like, don't touch the friggin' thing. <laughs> I was like, no, I don't need my laptop. I'll be fine. So I'm going to have to catch your com comments as you're speaking. Oh, okay. Now it's not letting me share. That moon last night, though. Oh, my God, I reckon. <laughs> See, I'm talking about it. So Siri's bringing up all the things about it. Because <laughs> we love you, AI. You're always listening. It's so amazing. You just, like, customize everything according to my likes. How amazing are you? 22 viewers of course <laughs> all right let me I'm gonna check these comments here first all right let me just turn this down though hi everybody's saying hi awesome Ricky yes the witches yeah so the witch stuff is really really strong with this um this blood moon eclipse yeah um very very strong connection to Egypt as well is the blood moon eclipses. Of course, there's lots of lineage in the, um, you know, in the blood moons, but yeah. All right, let me share this as always, and I shall be present with what I really, like, it's just, it was like, I have to talk about this, I have to talk about this. Oh, wow. You grew up in, in Salem, in Oregon. It's amazing. Okay. Perfect. All right. So, yeah, it was really, really strong. Yeah, that energy in, like, the I want to say the witch hunts or hi, Alison. Um, there's been a lot of kind of witch energy around, and you know, I guess what's really interesting is that, you know, like, let alone the astrological lineup, like this eclipse, and I've been talking about, you know, like this nine month healing cycle you know the nine month healing cycle the 18 month healing cycle right now is like it's like the big dropout like reality a lot of you have been feeling that drop out of reality it's like the, the earth is bottom out beneath you yeah that it's just like dropped out underneath and it feels like this sense of um you know like the earth has fallen out beneath you because you've come down into your body you've shifted something out of your physical body and all your physical reality has shifted and you haven't done anything, right? It's almost like, I was happening to my reality because everything is changing, right? And you're just like, I'm not in control. What's happening? <laughs> so if you're like breaking down because things are falling apart, you want to look at this. Another thing that came up with my other client um, is about releasing control. There's a lot of control being released. So if you're like freaking out because of all these changes going on, it's like out of your control. You want to be doing the shadow meditation, which you can find in the clear and activate pack. You can find that um, in the clear and activate pack. Uh, 
and use the shadow meditation in that, yeah? So on my website, realitywearness.com, if you scroll down a bit, you'll see the um, clear and activate pack. It's a pink button and you can um, just download that for free. The shadow meditation is in there. So I'd be really looking at shadow about control helping to release that. Um, so Kelly says her body's been really shaky today. Yeah, so lots of lots of physical body stuff, lots of headaches. People have been feeling like lots of head stuff. Um, and, you know, of course, if you've got physical symptoms and you're concerned about them, please go to the doctor. Um, Alison says so many numbers. Yes, lots of number flows for sure. I feel like when the energies are amplified, like, you know, and we're really feeling it, there is a lot of signs around as well. Um, but I also feel like those body physical symptoms, especially around the time of a blood red moon eclipse, total lunar eclipse, is a lot of past life stuff. So a lot of spears in the back of the head, a lot of axes through the back, a lot of like a lot of those old sort of woundings surface through the physical body. So whilst it's really important to get anything physical checked out that you're concerned about. As I said in my last live stream, I'm pretty sure we talked about this, you know, if it's only there a little bit um, or it kind of comes and goes or, you know, it's like, you know, especially around these um, full moons and the energies around the moon, I'd definitely be looking at past life healing because there might be like a relationship that's kind of like in your face or has dropped away out of your reality or returned into your reality. And or something, the other parties, or, or a relationship that has had a lot of trauma in the past, it feels like um, when, you know, especially, and this is why getting the sense so strongly in the um, full moon ceremony last night, that the, the blood moon eclipse is so specifically, it was like, you know, you've seen this before, right? And I'm not talking about this lifetime, I'm talking about errors before that. Yeah, you've seen this blood moon before. And so, that blood moon is like, I want to say reminding you and any sort of pains and stuff that you feel is like the trauma from your past, like, and being able to pull out. So any relationships that you've got in your life that are either dropped away or there's issues right now, or there's peace, but there has been trauma in the past with that relationship. It feels like you're getting a lot of insight, a lot of um, messages, a lot of things that you need to pay attention to that are really like bringing awareness and, and deep healing. There's a lot of deep healing going on right now as well. So in the title of this live stream, I said something like the generational um, generational women's witch line is automatically healed. So what I mean by that is the sense that I was getting last night in that blood moon eclipse and the ceremony itself a lot of goddess energy for sure, like reclaiming your innocence, reclaiming your purity, like you haven't done anything wrong. And this piece I really want to share because this is like, I'm covered in goosebumps. This is so strong. And I feel like this is like the biggest piece. So when I heard in 2019 that in 2020, the astrological lineup was going to be the same as, and it hasn't been that same astrological lineup since the mid 1600s when the witch hunts began. I was like, oh, does this mean that um, that witch hunt energy is going to be again, which technically is a little bit, right? But I was like, no, this is like the rising of the witches. Like this is us coming back, right? And then we look at last year and we're like, yeah, right, Hannah, right? <laughs> and then, but right now, there is a rising. Right now, there's an awakening. And, and of course, there's been an awakening going on forever, right? But it's like accelerated and it's only going to keep accelerating with what's going on. Because the more you try and restrict somebody, the more, or a whole planet, the more you try and restrict and suffocate somebody, what are they going to do? They're going to be like, hey, what are you doing? Hey, get away from me. Hey, bleh. no, <laughs> no, that's not happening. Not on my watch, <laughs> right? And I feel like there's a lot of people with that at the moment, yeah? And so what's happening is it's kind of like, hang on a sec, what are, you, what are you doing, right? And the more you push someone down, the more they're going to fight back eventually, right? So I personally feel, and my, I was laughing with my friend, Sienna, we were having a conversation just before this live stream, and she said, she said, yep, I know, full on. I know she won't mind me sharing this. She said, at the other side of the population, Carl, they'll be left with, all they'll be left with is the witches. And I was like, oh my God, I'm literally about to go live talking about the witches. 
<laughs> like no shit. And it's interesting though, right? It is really interesting what they think they're going to turn them all into robots and they're going to like, then they're going to wipe us out. I'm sorry, it's not happening. Why? Because you can't stop consciousness awakening. Why? Because this is coming out and up and a lot of people are waking up. I'm like, the more you try and restrict someone, the more you try and make somebody unconscious, <laughs> the conscious soul is like, not happening, Sunny Jim, right? I don't care what anybody says. I'm full believer of that. Now, okay, where was it going? Okay, there's a generational lineage, women, bloodline, witch healing, instant healing. What has happened, right? What happened with that eclipse last night is that the cap, If okay, let's start here. Who has felt like somebody has held them back in their life? Whether it's this lifetime and you're very conscious of like, yeah, that person held me back or is holding me back. And I know you guys know what I talk about when we're blaming somebody. It's always three fingers pointing back at ourselves. We do shadow work. We look at where we're holding ourselves back, blah, 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 blah. But I really just want to ask you, who has felt like somebody is, yep, that person's holding me back or has held me back in the past or yes, 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 or that person has put a cap on me. Who has felt that or feels that now? Who, who feels that? Okay. So... This was a really, really strong message. Now, sometimes we feel that from a male, right? If we're a female and otherwise vice versa, we'd feel it from a female. Sometimes as a female, we feel, we feel it from a female. So, I mean, gender specific, not really relevant, but it kind of is, but it kind of isn't. Because I feel like this blood moon eclipse, what happened? What happened with that? Oh, Ricky says, my mother, I feel it's just lifted though. Yeah, exactly. That is confirming exactly what I'm talking about because I feel like this blood moon eclipse, that lifted. The energetic cap that that was placed on us witches, let's call, let's say, right? Women, women, the energetic cap that was put on the women has been lifted. Now, the deeper understanding and what just poured through earlier, <sighs> following on from that full moon eclipse. This is massive, guys. This is so huge, right? And this came through in the distance healing and it came through like spinning off that blood moon eclipse last night. <sighs> Originally, you were powerful. You were gifted. You were in incredibly intelligent and you still are today, but you hold yourself back. You hide away. You feel shame you feel regret, remorse and all these things and you don't even know why. You think you've done something wrong because your gift, your power and who you are is magnificent, bright and so freaking powerful. And at some point along the line in one of the timelines, usually the first one where it originally happened, and this is what I mean, the original wound has been lifted, is that your mother your grandmother, specifically talking about this generational witch lineage healing right now. Okay, this is the core. Even if in this lifetime you feel like a man has held you back or a male is holding you back, originally your mother or your grandmother or your auntie or your sister put an energetic cap on you. They put it on you on purpose, but they did it out of love. They did it to save you to hide you so that you didn't get burnt. And maybe that worked, maybe it didn't. But originally, that's where that began. That cap has been lifted. That energetic curse has now been lifted. That is gone. That's what happened with that blood moon eclipse energy. That's, that's what's at its core. That's why it felt so different. That's why a lot of people feel really different today. That's why a lot of people feel really weird out of sorts even before the eclipse this past kind of like this three days it's like this weird energy because it's lifted that original cap has been lifted they put that cap on you that energetic cap they hid your gift because they did it out of love because they didn't want you to die that was out of love now here's the understanding of how we're in this mess today is that that lifetime went away the next lifetime, for an example, okay, there's so many variations here, but the next lifetime, you are still in the same family lineage in some way, shape or form. You've had the same sister or the same mother or the same auntie or blah, 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 right? Okay. 
So Janine, what are you feeling now? I want to ask you into question of that. You've got the same auntie, mother, lineage, whatever now. Yeah. So from the lifetime that they did it out of protection of love, the next lifetime, everybody comes in unconscious in a way, in a way. They forgot they did that consciously in a way. Yeah. They didn't realize they did that. However, that unconscious cap, still there that sorry that energetic cap still there because unless they removed it in that lifetime before you all died in that lifetime and then moved to the next lifetime that energetic cap still there and if one or more of the women the people are not conscious of that energetic cap still being there subconsciously energetically we're actually going to feel that between each other in the relationship today, if that makes sense, right? No matter which lifetime we're talking about here. From then on, at some point, we still felt it, yeah? And so, okay, cool. I'll talk about that in a moment, Janine. Um, so we still feel that energetic cap still there today, for example, but if we're not conscious of what that energetic cap is, in between the relationship, it's just going to feel like they've got a control over you. They've held over you. They've, you know, they've, you know, held you back. They're holding you back. They're, uh, right? We, we don't know what that is, but we're like, what the fuck's going on between us? Like, you know, even just, you might not have that conscious conversation in a way, but you're like, what's good, this relationship about? Whatever right? It's good at times, but then it's like, oh, they're holding me back or blah, we just want to get out of there because <laughs> we're like, what is this feeling between us? What is that? Right? <sighs> that energetic cap has been dissolved with that blood red moon last night. Like that's, and that's like all lineage over all women and where that originally stems from. I want to say, I want to say the, the matriarchal, oh, sorry, the patriarchal, so the masculine originally created that because they made like they are the ones that are scared of our power so then we had to hide our power blah 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 that's so huge right that is so huge let me check these comments thank fuck <laughs> thank fuck that has been released so okay i'm just gonna check these comments first because i don't want to touch that phone i should have brought my laptop out um okay Loading, loading, loading. I should just be on my thing out here. This is so huge. So when you say, I think I'm pronouncing your name right, right Janine. Um, when you say about feeling weird, yeah, this energy is weird. And I feel like if you're feeling weird, it's because the energetics of your reality are shifting. I think I shared this on a different live stream a while ago. It's almost like um, these two spheres right are like passing through each other two different spheres of reality two different spheres of energy and the weird feeling comes when they're like crisscrossing each other and like one paradigm is being rocked and another one's being rocked and you're like oh, i just feel weird like you know it's like literally if i could describe it that's kind of what's going on um in that regard so let's just have a look at these comments here um so allison says yes my mom also back in her day Men lead the way, went to work while the woman stayed at home and watched the children and did the housework. Yeah, keep keep the cap on <laughs> in a way, right? Um, but also when you look at it out of safety because we, quote, unquote, let them have the power. And I'm saying all in quoted commas because I'm not saying like this is the one and only truth and this is the thing, but I'm like there's a definite thread here when we look at an underlying tone of like they've got control of me, they're controlling me, they've they've kept me capped, like blah, blah, blah. Like when we look at the threads and how deep this goes back and specifically right now, those energy threads are being cleared out because the 1600s, you know, and when we talk about, when we talk about the numbers and I haven't studied numerology, I haven't done anything like that really. Like I know a little bit about numbers, but intuitively number four is a structural change for me when we look at a numerology, well, a number chart up to number nine, right? Number four is a structural change. When we look at the 1600s, that's four centuries. So we're in a four, we're in a structural restructure of reality, which makes sense that all that 1600s era 
of the witch burning is kind of, I want to say, being played out again in a different way. They're trying to cap it in a different way because you can't suppress power. You can't suppress consciousness. Like you, it, It's like that nothing's working to suppress. So they're trying other means right now, but that's, it's just waking us up more in a way, right? Um, so yes, makes so much sense, right? Um, so Terry says, my nan came through in the full moon ceremony. That's what I mean. This grandmother lineage healing is strong right now. And it's about reclaiming the gifts of the divine feminine. Like, of course, right? There's such a goddess energy in a sense of like really anchoring in your truth, You're not feeling rocked in your power and not, not, I want to say not feeling like anybody's got a cap on you. And if they put a cap on you, it was out of, I want to say love, of course, there's fear if it came from abuse in a way, but I feel like the original core wounding was out of love, especially on a generational women's lineage, which line, like for sure, right? Um, so your nan, okay, it's funny. So your nan came through in the full moon ceremony and said it's about bloody time. <laughs> I had no idea of what she referred to today. I'm super tired. Yeah, that's probably what this is about, right? <laughs> Um, ah, and your grandmother came through during your meditation today as well. I'm not sure how to pronounce your name. Is it Riccio? I don't know how to pronounce it. I'm sorry. Um, but that makes sense. There's so much, there's so much grandmother and they're chilling, like huge. And I think if we look at like, you know, two eras back, that's, I want to say very close to that first lineage of that bloodline, um, or that not necessarily the bloodline, well, it is, but of that era, you know, when the first lot of trauma started happening like so it's, and it's, that's the thing it's not that far back when we really think about it it's only four generations in a way like it's not well maybe it's a little bit longer but do you know what I mean it's actually not that far back and that really plays out energetically in our collective um energy as as a human like as humanity it plays out collectively it's still very present when you look at um you know, like the structures of reality, it's still very, very present. I'm pretty sure, if I remember correctly, the revolution, the industrial revolution started around then as well. Maybe I'm incorrect, but I think it was around that timeline as well because it was like we need workers to do our work and, like, here we are still doing the work. Um, so, yeah, Alison says such a lot of soul-searching, unblocking and releasing over the last few weeks leading up to the eclipse, yes, about this, she's apologized and I've forgiven her. It's okay. She was doing her best and that's it's what she knew from her parents. Exactly, right? It's just passed down, passed down until we are waking up and breaking it up. <laughs> We're waking up and breaking up. <laughs> We're having a breakup with, with it all, right? Yes, yes. Yeah, so always remember a lot of anxiety is to check in. Like, have I grieved the change that I'm currently going through? Have I spent, how much time have I spent out in nature in the last week? How much sleep am I getting? All those sorts of things, really important. Oh, look, just moved into our house. We're just closing our back. Yes, exactly, right? So lots of grief and change. That's where the anxiety is coming from. Change out of your normal routine. <laughs> um, okay, so number four is a new structural house. Exactly. It's the new structure of reality that gets embedded in, yeah? Hi, Katrina. Your nan's house is number four too. Perfect. Okay, Terry says, I read a quote the other day that said, why is it they taught us to fear the witches that were burned and not those that burnt them? Exactly. Exactly, right? Exactly, like, why? And when you watch a lot of shows, you'll see that it's just about herbs and stuff and, hey, maybe there is magic and, hey, that magic does exist but it's been so suppressed. People don't believe it anymore. It's a bit like the tribe seeing, not seeing the, the yacht or the, the boat, the ship on the horizon because it's just not part of their reality, right? Everything is there if we open our eyes to see. Hi, Sean. Goosebumps says, I read your message. Yeah, really, really powerful healing going on at the moment. So, I think that's all I really wanted to say. Oh, and so, yeah, if you are feeling weird, reality is shifting out. Yeah, reality is changing. Know that there is like, I want to say really powerful, strong energies going on. And I got the message too. So what are we now? 27th. I feel I, I got the message like June's going to be a big month. June's going to be big, like energetically, like we thought May was big, but I feel like June is like, I want to say the energetic fallout of, the restructure energetically from May, from this eclipse, I feel like the next three weeks, 
just be mindful of the next three weeks, the first three weeks of June, be mindful of June, that if stuff's going on, just be, just be aware. Like we've just had a blood moon eclipse. We're going through huge change in reality at the moment on a physical level, energetic level, emotional, like all the things, right? So just be conscious of what's going on. If you need support, if you're feeling weird, if you're not sure what's going on, if you're feeling lost, come and post in my Reality Winner support group. We're there to support you. There's lots of resources here to be able to support you through it, um, let alone all the meditations and tools of whatever. But there's there's support. And it's just about opening up to receive that, yeah? So you can post in the group. If you're not in that group, send me a message or you can comment support below and we will get you in there. There's one other thing that I want to talk about. It feels really important. What is it? What is that? There's something important coming up. Oh, my God. <laughs> There's something important. Yep. So alongside this blood moon red eclipse, this blood moon eclipse, total lunar eclipse, say it properly, whatever. <laughs> I, I wanted to come on live on Monday and let you guys know that we are starting the chakra journey from next Monday. It's free. It's nine weeks of chakra. So each week we're in a different chakra. If you've been in Reality Awareness, we do this every year. It's free. I do it right here on my Reality Awareness Facebook page. So if you're not watching on there, you can come and like the page, turn on notifications. Every Monday I will go live and talk about, we're going to start at the crown. The next week will be third eye. The next week will be ears, throat, heart, sacral, solar plexus, sacral base. And then the ninth week is integration. So we're doing nine weeks where we're in a chakra a week. This is a really big energy. This is a really big deal. And the reason that I'm telling you is because I'm kind of giving you a disclaimer. <laughs> I'm giving you a disclaimer. Your life will change. Your reality will shift. You will have big shifts if you follow along with this. And I want you to be mindful that if stuff's happening in your reality and you're like, ah, what's going on? You'll be like, oh, I mean, we're in heart chakra week. Got it. That's why all this grief's coming up. That's why these relationships are coming out of the blue. Like, oh, my head's hurting. Like this week, <laughs> we're starting crown on Monday. So crown chakra is all next week. And the reason I'm sharing this is because we're also in we're already starting to be in the energy of the chakra before we actually get there. So it's interesting that on this blood moon total eclipse that we've just had, total lunar eclipse, it's like this, the crown and people had a lot of head and tension and neck and heart stuff going on because when the crown chakra is activated, the heart chakra is automatically activated as well. So the crown and the heart automatically activate each other it's like the crown opens and immediately spirit light energy comes into the crown the hearts open and activate and people are like oh, what's happening my reality right and everything's changing because the crown chakra starts to bring in new energy new life new all of that so if you're feeling weird or you're like got head pains like of course get them checked out if you feel like there's something really going on um and sometimes like just go to the doctor so you get the all clear and you're like okay cool it's definitely energetic what's going on <laughs> right it's always good to just get the all clear and then um yeah so we start that next week so be mindful that we're in this chakra journey right and as we go down every chakra is activated and i'll be posting about the chakra during the weeks as well the um you know the energy of the consciousness of each of the chakras is strong it's deep and it does shift your reality it activates through your body so there's going to be big changes healings awarenesses all the things going on so if you'd like details about that um and all the ins and outs about times of when we're starting and everything just comment chakra below and we can send you the direct link or you can find it on my page as well um so that's starting next monday then if you want to get the chakra, um, the crystalline chakra activations, right? So this is the crystalline journey that we're going through, activating the crystalline chakra consciousness through your body over the next nine weeks. It's all free. If you want an upgrade to that, there's my chakra, crystalline chakra activations, and there's nine recorded meditations that I've done for you. Each one, obviously there's one each for each of the chakras, yeah? And the ninth integration. So if you want an upgrade to that, it's $49 for the pack of nine. So if you want the actual link to the meditations, just contact, like comment meditation below and we'll get that, that to you. So over the week that we are on that chakra, you can be doing the crown chakra activation. Then we move into the third eye. You can be doing the third eye activation. Now, 
Jazz agrees. <laughs> She's singing. She thinks that you should get the, the meditations. <laughs> I don't know if you can hear that or not, but um, so the yeah, so you don't have to get those, of course, but they are an upgrade and they are something that you can work with over the weeks as well. So I really wanted to let you guys know that that's happening um, because we're starting on Monday and it is a big journey. Um, Lena says, I love the crystalline chakra journey. It's so powerful. It is. If you don't want to um, have your life change in any way, shape or form, or you don't want the crystalline activation, just like get out of reality awareness now <laughs> because whether you're consciously following it or not, actually, that's probably not a good idea. If you've been in reality awareness, you're like, you're in the energy of it anyway. And that's the thing. Sometimes we're like, oh, I'm doing my life. And then we're like, what's happening? And we're like, oh my God, we're in third, chakra, third eye chakra week. Like no wonder all this relationship stuff's coming up because this is all about relationships, right? So yeah, it's just being mindful that for the next nine weeks, and you've probably already felt some crown stuff already going on that's already going to start moving the energy in your life and reality and all those sorts of things. So really important. I had to let you know that um, trust the intuition is open as well. You might've seen that already. So trust the intuition is my certified healers course. The early bird is open and we're starting that on the 5th of July. That's a little while, we're a little way away. So about five or six weeks away, but early bird is open now. Early bird closes next Friday. And that is if you are ready and you know that you're a healer or you just want to amplify your gifts and understand all this spiritual stuff, that is the place. You don't have to become a certified intuitive healer. If you do not want to, you have lifetime access for that. It is a 10 week journey that we go over though. So we're going, we're doing a class a week. It is live on Zoom. I'm really excited because this is actually the first year that I've done it as a 10 week live training in live interactive training and I'm actually anchoring in to do live intensives of this um, in person as well so first of all we're starting with the 10 week journey that begins on the 5th of July so if you know that like this place trust intuition is my baby it's my tribe it's where I, I teach all the spiritual stuff that you need to understand your gift as an empath, as a healer, as why you go yes and then you doubt yourself or what is these unconscious caps? What is these energetic caps? What are these cords? Where do they come from? How do I do past life trauma? How do I know that that's a childhood wound? How do I even clear that? Why is it still there? Why do these patterns keep repeating? All of that, everything in trust intuition is how we unfold and it's also about understanding how we be that sensitive empath person with our family, with friends, with people so we don't get drained there's a lot of people that I know they're like yeah I'm a healer and I do all these things and then they get drained depleted they don't know how to do any like you know they don't know how to function with that gift they give it all away or you know they're just like drained all the time and they're like I can't do it all the time because I don't understand you know it's how to understand not just protecting your energy but why that even happens and how to not go there again and all those things so if you know that you're a healer, <laughs> Susan says she's a healer, and you want um, to really be a part of something that is way bigger than just the course and my Trust Intuition Tribe know that, then please comment trust below and we'll just send you the link. Otherwise, the, um, the link is in the comments as well. So it's in the title of this live stream. You can find it on my page. You can find it on my website. So Trust Intuition Early Bird is open. It does close next week. And then we start the early bird closes. So the investment increases at the end of next week. So if you've got any questions about that, please let me know. I'm really excited to start the chakra, crystalline chakra journey next week. I had to come on, had to share about that blood moon eclipse. Like I said, I wanted to like live stream on Monday and everything was just so big <laughs> leading up to that moon. I was just like, nah, not doing it. And then as soon as I finished the ceremony, then my blood flow started as well. And I'm like, well, of course, right? All at once, all at once. Why not? <laughs> because that's how I work. <laughs> of course, right? All right. I'm going to love you and leave you. Really wanted to generational lineage healing and be able to share that gift that you are powerful beyond measure and from now on those gifts are only going to amplify because that energetic cap is not there anymore mm -hmm. trust intuition is the place where you learn to decipher and how to understand your powerful gift 
not be drained, right? Because energetically that cap's been lifted like for all of humanity. So that I feel like there will be an influx of light. There'll be an influx of people's intuition. People will be more sensitive and people will be more wiped energetically because they don't know how to work their gift. That's the biggest thing about it, right? So yes, the chakra class, yes, we'll get you those details for sure. Um, it is starting, it's, it's live, it's free, um, and obviously there'll be replays that you can always catch as well if you miss them for any reason. So I shall see you really soon. Love you, bye.